Williams all across the NFL this weekend will feel an awful lot like the home field of DeMar Hamlin and the Buffalo Bills. Las Vegas, the Raiders, the Chiefs, and their fan base is their first up with a chance to express their love and support for DeMar. It's impossible to turn your head and not see the number three and DeMar everywhere. The signs are everywhere. Number three in the program, number one in all of our hearts. We welcome you to the progressive kickoff. It's doubleheader Saturday. The Titans and Jaguars coming up later tonight. The Chiefs and the Raiders coming up right now. With that, we say hi, everybody, and great afternoon. With Lewis Riddick and Dan Orlovsky, I'm Steve Levy. Yesterday, really, for the first time all week, the NFL community collectively was able to exhale just a bit, maybe able to smile just a little bit, as it appears that millions of prayers from around the world have been answered. DeMar Hamlin turning a positive corner, making progress on his way. We all hope to a full recovery. And the best part yesterday, he surprised his Bills teammates. He FaceTimed into a team meeting and flexed for the boys. Yeah, like I think general manager Brandon Bean of the Buffalo Bills really summed it up best when he was saying how the atmosphere would be in Buffalo this weekend. He said it would be about a celebration of life, about a celebration of the continued life of the bar hand when you could not have taken better notice of how the players, the coaches, the staff in Buffalo were able to now feel comfortable maybe taking a step forward to resuming their profession, the profession that, the, that DeMar Hamlin is a part of in terms of their ability to now prepare for the games this weekend. I don't think anybody across the country, whether you were a sports fan or just a, you know, just a regular casual fan, I don't think you could to, to really assume, really resume normal activities without knowing that this young man was on the road to recovery. And now that he is, I think we all can take that collective side of relief. Yeah, in many ways, this week we saw the best of the brotherhood that is the NFL. You now, you couldn't see or hear something from a player that it didn't feel intimately connected to DeMar. Like, that was that was one of our own down on the field there. And, you know, the love and support that the players showed DeMar, like, that's the NFL to me in many ways. And it, and it wasn't just the best of the players. It was the best of coaches. Yep. It was the best of incredible medical staff. It was the best of the fans. You fans were absolutely amazing for DeMar and for a week that started pretty surreal you know, standing here today kind of feels unreal knowing how well he's doing and you know DeMar Hamlin just being himself not only brought the best out of the NFL it feels like he brought the best out of humanity yeah. next step let's get this young man out of critical condition yeah, get him absolutely. in the stable our thoughts and prayers continue to be 2,000 miles away at the UC Medical Center down on the sideline now here's Laura Rutledge well, thank you, Steve. And as you guys just said, this week has weighed heavy on the hearts of everyone, but especially these players here that are going to have to come out and play in the first game that we'll see since Lamar Hamlin's injury. Travis Kelsey told me pregame it does feel different, but he said it's an honor to be out there, to be wearing Hamlin's name across our chest in pregame warm-ups. He said we're celebrating our NFL brother today. We're celebrating his progress, and we want Hamlin to know that we're playing with him. I hope, to hope he sees because he's so incredibly deserving of that. Steve? Thank you, Laura. We're going to play an NFL football game here today, shortly. But that's so secondary. Everyone continues to think about Tamar Hamlin, first and foremost. 